Hello, the topic for this video is what is Oracle Exadata? This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. To start with, Oracle Exadata is a data appliance. And the question is, what is a data appliance? You can consider data appliance as a server or computer that comes with pre installed and pre optimized database. I'd like to give a similar example in this video as well that I provided in Excel Logic video. Let's say you want to have database installed on your computer. So one option is you go and buy a hardware from one vendor and then you buy a database from another or same vendor. You install the database on that hardware and you have a solution. Another option is you buy an appliance, data appliance from a vendor. That means you go to the vendor, you will get a hardware as well as database installed on that hardware. So it's not like you're telling this vendor please install the database on this computer and give it to me. It's more than that. The hardware is specifically designed to work with that database software and the database is tuned to work with that hardware. So each component in the hardware is tuned to work with the database as well including the memory, the CPU and, and the whole works. And that is exactly the term appliance is used because the software and hardware is married to each other and you are getting an appliance rather than a hardware and a software and then you're gonna install one on the other. Now we understand what an appliance is so we can move on. Now Oracle is positioning Oracle Exadata as pre-configured clustered database server. I'm gonna talk about this term cluster in a bit. This is an important term. Before we move on, you need to understand the basics. In a typical environment, you have a database tier, middle tier, and uh, the client tier. That's why it's called a three-tier environment. In the, I'm using the term tier because there could be more than one computer in a tier, depending on the scale of the implementation. So on database tier, the computer or computers residing here will be working to manage the data and database software will be installed and running on those computers. On the application tier, you will have computers running the actual application and that is what users are using through their browsers, uh, whatever the, uh, the middle tier is running. And there could be multiple computers here to share the load. And usually, multiple computers on the application tier talk to the database tier and there could be one or more computers on the database tier as well. So if you're buying an Exadata box from Oracle, it's going to go in the database tier. Quick comparison between Exalogic and Exadata. Exalogic is positioned by Oracle Corporation as a pre-configured clustered application server and Exadata is positioned as pre-configured clustered data server. So if you are looking to buy some boxes to create application server, you're going to look for Exologic, and if you are planning to buy some boxes to create your database tier, then Exadata is something to look at. There are other appliances as well in the market from other vendors, but most of them are geared towards the OLAP environment. And something different about Oracle Exadata is that it could be used for OLAP as well as for OLTP. Initially, Oracle targeted Oracle Exadata for OLAP and now it is positioned for either OLTP or OLAP. My other videos have addressed the topic of OLTP and OLAP here real quickly. OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing. Here the, th the system is optimized to do lots of inserts on the database because in OLTP system transactions are happening. So business activities are happening and uh, lots of activity is going on in the database to capture the business events. So lots of inserts are happening. And in OLAP, the system is used to query, to see the trends, what's going on in the company since last 10 years, 12 years, and so on. So the focus is on the query in OLAP, and OLTP, the focus is on updating the system quickly and capturing all what is happening in the business. And in OLAP, the audience is the management and the owners. 
and they are doing their queries and trend analysis and in OLTP the audience is the operational team trying to capture the business events punching in data and so on so two different systems one has to be optimized for fast inserts and one has to be optimized for to process heavy duty queries here's a quick timeline the first version of Oracle Exadata was created in 2008 it was a collaboration between Oracle Corporation and Hewlett Packard so Oracle brought their software to the table including database operating system and storage software and Hewlett Packard brought their hardware and both software and hardware were tuned to work with each other so Oracle Enterprise Linux was used as the operating system then in 2010 something happened after the purchase of micro sorry Sun Microsystems by Oracle they modified the appliance they started using Sun Microsystems hardware in Oracle Exadata appliance which was not a surprise Oracle claims that Exadata version 2 is the fastest database server on the planet in 2011 customers had a choice of the operating system they could have used Oracle Enterprise Linux or Sun Solaris 11 Express Enterprise Linux 5.5 to be exact I use the word cluster so Oracle Exologic is a cluster of database servers it's not one machine it's a cluster of multiple machines so the idea is that multiple machines connected together works more efficiently than if working separately and that is what a cluster is and this cluster consists of two kind of servers or computers database server and storage server so the database servers are hosting the database software so the data base is managed by the database server so there are multiple database servers all working together to serve one purpose and acting as one big machine now the storage server has a very uh, good chunk of memory to hold the data from the database server and they can return some uh, query results on the fly without the need to touch the database they can hold all the common uh, the results for all the common queries that are happening in the system so the aftermath is a very powerful machine so here are the different configurations that are available for Oracle Exadata so it's available as full rack half rack and quarter rack the size is the same you're gonna get the same tower but in the half in the full rack it will be filled from top to bottom in half rack it will be half empty and quarter rack you'll be getting a uh, quarter of the of what you will be getting in the full rack so the full rack consists of eight database servers and 14 storage servers so you can imagine it as a big cluster of 22 different computers eight of them acting as a database servers and 14 as a storage servers holding the data now half rack has four database servers and seven storage servers and quarter rack has two database servers and three storage servers so now we know a cluster would consist of X number of database servers and Y number of storage servers and it all depends on what kind of configuration you're buying you can't do mix and match you can't tell Oracle I need this many database servers and that many storage servers it's fixed the number is fixed but you can choose between x22 database server and x28 database server however a storage server you're gonna get is uh, will be x22 so what does x22 and x28 means and in terms of database servers and what does x22 means in terms of storage server it all depends on the uh, configuration they're simply names for the machines consisting of uh, this package that you're seeing on the screen so here are the details I don't want to go through the details you can pause the video and look for it or you can um, go to Oracle's website this is just uh, to give you an idea of what Exadata is so at really high level X22 is a 2 by 6 core Xeon machine 96 gigabyte memory and 4 by 300 gigabyte of of hard disk and this is on one server so you have multiple of these 
in comparison, if you look at x to 8, it is 8 by 10 core Xeon and is 2 terabyte of memory and 8 by 300 gigabyte of disk on one unit, on one server in a cluster. And you only get one configuration of the storage server and that is 2 by 6 core Xeon, 384 gigabyte of memory and 12 by 3 terabyte of disk space.